Atlassian makes changes to Jira almost every single day, if not daily. But a few months ago, they introduced a change that is just driving me insane. It is making me really, really not be happy with Jira, and I want to share this annoyance with you in hopes that maybe, just maybe, you are also experiencing the same annoyance, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get Atlassian to change this because, boy, is it annoying. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And most importantly, if you want to help the channel grow, if you want to show your support, make sure you share this video with your coworkers, your peers, your teammates, everybody that you know around you that uses Jira and they can benefit from this channel. Make sure you share not only this video, but the entire channel, because the more people that know about this channel, the more Jira people we can help out. So make sure you share it and let's jump into the video. As I said, Atlassian makes changes all the time. And you wouldn't know it by looking at the interface here because the problem that I'm talking about specifically is a little bit hidden. I'm not 100% sure how many of you would hit this use case, but anybody doing search, more specifically, anybody doing an advanced search in Jira has probably noticed something a little peculiar, something a little, what I'll call annoying, because Atlassian, as great as your intentions are with this, I can see some value, but 99.999% of the time that I go to do a search, I have to get rid of this feature because it's just getting in the way. So let me show you how I get to it, and then let's talk a little bit about what this annoying thing is. So if you've ever gone to do an advanced search, I am not talking about a basic JQL search because you really won't see this there. But if you've ever done the advanced search, which by the way, there's two different ways of getting there. You can either go through filters here in the top left corner and come down to advanced issue search. Or the way I typically do it is I go to search over here. And now, by the way, just really quickly wanted to throw this out there. Another change that Atlassian made that, hey, some warnings would be really nice because for the last year and a half, I've been going to search, advanced search right below it. And all of a sudden, that last year, you decide to move it all the way to the bottom, which I kind of like, I'm not going to lie, but just warn somebody when you're going to make such a drastic UI change, because for literally the last two, almost two years, I've just been going to search and advanced search right below, but now I got to scroll all the way downtown to get to it. And it just throws off everything because it's just muscle memory that is just now changed, right? But for the purpose of this video here, we're going to stick on advanced issue search. We're going to click on that. And this is the landing page where we are primarily experiencing the problem. Now, you might not be here automatically. You might be in this basic search. And this annoyance that I have applies to you as well. So it doesn't go away based on if you're in JQL mode or in basic mode. You are going to see this annoyance right away. And the first thing that should catch your eye when you land here is, when you're coming to the advanced issue search, it basically searches your entire quote unquote database of issues, right? Like all the issues inside of your Jira system by default are just open, which is different. It's different than when you go through the search within the project, because when you do the search within the project, Jira strategically already kind of limits or filters out anything that's not in that project. But when you're in this view here, it will bring you back everything. Now for speed and optimization, that's the only reason I can think of why Atlassian would do this. For speed and optimization, if you have a hundred thousand or more issues, I would assume, I don't know, some really, really high number. This is where like, okay, Atlassian is probably saying, we well, can kind of not make such an expensive call to out to the database to retrieve the information because we're just going to get a subset of that data, which is fine. I don't mind efficiency, but at last in the last 30 days, you're sacrificing the convenience of the user for that speed that I didn't really notice. And let me repeat that again. It's one thing if I'm like, oh, wow, this is drastically faster. But I did not notice whether I'm retrieving back 100,000 issues or 100 issues. The speed from my perception is pretty much exactly the same. It might be saving costs on the back end, stuff that the database, the stuff that the engineers would probably really appreciate. But from an end user perspective, this is one of these features where it's more of an annoyance and a benefit, especially since I'm not seeing the benefit at all. Engineering and at last is probably like super, super happy. But as an end user, this is really, really annoying. And let's, let's kind of 
change to JQL mode, so I can kind of really highlight. You can kind of see it here, right? But in JQL mode, you'll see it the best. By default, when you come into this advanced issue search, instead of bringing you everything, which is what it used to do, it will now only bring you back anything that was created within the last 30 days. And this right here is what's my annoyance because every time that I have to go do an advanced search, which is the way I normally do it, I'm not doing basic searches. I'm, I'm too much of a Jira pro to be doing drop downs and stuff like that. And also just to be doing very limited searches, right? I am doing a very fine search because I know exactly what I'm trying to dig for. And every time I go to do a search, I got to get rid of this. I got to basically clear this out here. Or if I'm in the basic mode, I have to click this little X. And it's caught me so many times where I forget to do that, at least at the beginning. Now I'm a little bit better about it because it's been an annoying thing for so many months now. But at the beginning, and this might be happening to you, is I come in here, I do my search, and I'm like, hmm, I was expecting a few more issues to be returned. When all of a sudden I go, oh yeah, the created date is set for the last 30 days. So when you get rid of this, at last it will all of a sudden now go and bring you everything that meets the new criteria, which is pretty much everything, not limited to just the last 30 days. And this is how it used to work. This is how it used to be. And, and this is, I think, again, a better user experience because at least at the beginning, I want to do my search. In fact, I would go as far as saying this at last, and if you don't want to do that database call with all the 30 days, when you come into the advanced search, give me a blink. Don't, don't bring me data yet. So save your query until I hit the search button because that to me would be a better user experience. I would rather stare at a blank like results, but be able to type in my query or make my filter selection than to have you already make a decision for me. Because this, again, if you don't remember, or you forget about it, you might get bad data. You might not get the results you want. And companies are doing millions and millions of dollars with the decisions off of these queries. And if these queries are being influenced by an external party before you even get started, this can really contaminate the data, well, contaminates a strong word, but it can alter the results <laughs> of the data before you even get started. So let me know in the comments, what do you think? Is, are you annoyed by this little functionality here? And it goes away and you gotta do it every single time. Now there would be an another thing, it's like, if like every time I came in here, maybe we can remember a session or a day or when we're logged in, kind of set it and forget it, get rid of it the first time, but every single time I'm coming into to an advanced search, I'm having to clear this out. But in the comment section, folks, am I overreacting? Are you also feeling this pain? Let me know your thoughts. I just want to know. I want to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a sanity check. Is this something that at last you should fix? Let me know. And I'm going to go look for a ticket to see if anybody else has complained. I can't imagine I'm the only one that has noticed this. This has been live in production for months now. And Again, I just, I don't like it at last year. Fix it, please. Do something better. This experience has literally just caught me off guard so many times where I'm doing a search. I'm trying to show some really valuable information to an executive, to somebody of importance. And all of a sudden, I'm like, why is there data missing? And I'm like, ah, yes, because I'm only bringing it back the last 30 days because the last thing piped it in for me and didn't tell me about it. So anyways, that's it for this video. If you found value, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you drop a like. Make sure that if you want to let me know your opinion about this, I am more than open to hear it. So let me know in the comment section below. And if you really do want to help the channel grow, make sure you share this video with your coworkers or share it with somebody else you might think might find this video entertaining and or at least maybe get mad about it. So anyways, thank you very much for your support and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.